to the channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at a phone that you probably never thought would be reviewed nearly 11 years later. This is the LG MV2, released back in March 31st of 2008. And this is before the year of the smartphones, and you might be thinking, what the heck is this thing? It's a phone back when you actually had a keyboard, just like a computer. It has facing speakers and everything on it. And it closes like clamshell. It has a two megapixel camera on the back. Volume rockers on the side. You're able to take pictures. And it has a keypad. And this is literally how it looks like taking a picture on this thing. It's a screen resolution of 320 by 240 LCD about almost 197 pixels per square inch has a removable 920 million power battery on it has a keypad because back in the old times this is how we would and then if you were to look in here Just to give you some quick background on this phone, this phone came out from Verizon with 4G CDMA connectivity. And this phone did not have a front facing camera, it only had a rear facing camera, as mentioned before, which had sub 480p resolution both in pictures and in video. Surprisingly, this thing took video. And also, this thing also had a headphone jack, as mentioned before, able to upgrade its memory with a micro SD card up to 8 gigs which was pretty outstanding. This is before the year of the Androids, which came out a year later with the Samsung S1 and also the Google phone as well. I almost forgot to mention that. But other also before apps existed and also known as the most popular ding called Zedge where you can download wallpapers and stuff. There was a thing that Verizon had called VGAS where you're able to get any type of ringtone or music to play whenever you get a phone call or a new message as a notification. You might be thinking, dang, this thing is ancient. Yes, it kind of is, being 11 years old and being pre-smartphone era. Really quickly, we're just going to show you exactly more in-depth, like the battery and everything. And we're going to come to a conclusion about if this phone is so somehow worth it 11 years after its release. really quick here in case you're curious on what type of pictures this thing took this is three examples that you can barely make the image out of at the end of the day do you honestly think this phone is worth it? To be honest, now that we have evolved into the world of smartphones, I honestly think that this phone could possibly be a collectible item later on down the road just to show the history of how far phones came from. But other than that, would I personally recommend it for everyday use 11 years after its release? I wouldn't say no. But just as a challenge one day to try to use this thing back when a keyboard was actually a part of a phone instead of it being digitally on the screen like it is nowadays. But other than that, did you own this phone or a phone similar to this with a sliding keyboard? Or back when you had to click something three times on a single button in order to get a message to go through? But other than that, if you enjoy stuff like this or newer phones, such as smartphones or basic phones just like this, 
feel free to smack, slap, or hit that subscribe button down below, and I greatly appreciate it. But other than that, this has been another tech review, and we'll catch you in the next one. C and D out. Unknown brain. Marvin Devine. Uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried Saying that I wasn't right, yet I was right by your side You manipulator, playing games, your friends commentators And I don't know what you say about our private conversations But it's got them hating, thanks to all the rumors you be claiming It's cool, I'm done with you, so they can